I'm Ben Franklin, and I'm here because I'm thrifty, and I believe you should be thrifty too. One of my sayings is, a penny saved is a penny earned, and that is because when I grew up, I had not a lot of money. My parents didn't have a lot of money. I was the 14th or 15th of 16 children or 17 children. I lost count. So if you save your money, you have money when you need it. If you spend it all, you're not going to have it. And what good is that? So I went on to do many things. I invented things like the Franklin stove. I figured out that lightning was actually electricity and I harnessed the power of electricity by holding a kite string with a key on the end of it. I have a lot of ideas. So, but I didn't go buy a fancy piece of equipment to do this. I just had a kite and a string and a key because I'm thrifty. You should try being thrifty. You never know what you'll find out. I'm here with Andrew, who is one of the wonderful people who work at the Schools Out program for the YMCA here at Elmwood School. And we're here to talk about being thrifty. Why is it a good idea to save money? Why don't we spend all our money at once? Okay, so Andrew, um, are you thrifty and how did you learn how to be that way? So I think I am thrifty. Um, and I learned it through my mom, actually, because my mom always told me it's a good idea to not spend all your money all at once. And to save it so that you can have more money in the future. And that way, when you go to college, when you actually need stuff, you have that money instead of buying, like, a pack of gum or right. baseball cards that you don't really need at that moment. So. Right, and so buying the pack of gum or the, or the cards, cards would add up, and even though it seems like a little bit of money, when you buy little things, it adds up. So your mom told you to save your money for things like college. Yeah, so if you, if you spend a little bit of money, before you know it, the money's gone, right? Exactly. It adds up. And then if it's just $3 or $4, you buy one, buy two, buy three, and it starts adding up and up and up. And then you spend $1 without even realizing it. Right, right. Three and four, and it adds up to 20 before you know it. Yeah. Right, right, right. So. Hi, I'm here with Benji and Devin, who are part of Schools Out program, and we're here to talk about being thrifty, why it's a good idea to save money instead of spend it all. So Benji, what do you do when you get money? Like, I usually like fold it up and put it in my piggy bank. Awesome, so you have a piggy bank. How big is your piggy bank? Is it like this or is it like this? I, I got one this big and then like this big. Oh. I, I somehow had a feeling that you didn't have a regular size piggy bank. You have a giant piggy bank. Yeah, it's a Pikachu piggy bank. A Pikachu piggy bank. Awesome. And does it make a noise when you put money in? Uh, yes. I somehow knew that too. So um, you, when you get the money, you fold it up and you put it in Pikachu. And what does Pikachu say? Mm, I don't know. Does it go, woo? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, and so have you taken any money out of the piggy bank since you put it in there, or it's still collecting in there? No, it's still collecting in there. Awesome. And so that's called being thrifty. That's called saving money in case you need it later. Are you saving up for anything in particular, or are you just putting it in there because you're not sure yet? A com my own computer I'm saving up for. Mm -hmm. Going to buy your own computer. Like... Each, I th yeah, each my birthday and Christmas, I get a hundred dollar bill for my grandmas. Mm -hmm. You have nice grandmas. So, um, how many hundreds do you think you have now? Mm, about like seven. And do you know how much a computer costs? Uh, I 
like five hundred, six hundred dollars. So if it costs five hundred or six hundred, and you have seven hundred, do you think you can buy it yet? Mm, yes. But you're still saving, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's see, that's being thrifty. You have it, but you're not spending it yet because why? Because like, I have. Like, I don't want to spend it yet because, like, I'm saving over, like, until, like, I get 1000 one That's so smart. So you're saving more than you need because you have a goal, but you might want something else or you just don't want to spend it all and have nothing, right? Mm-hmm. That's being thrifty. Fabulous, Benji. All right, so, Devin, you said that you don't, you like to save money, too. Tell us about that. I like to save money so I can buy stuff that costs more money. And I'm, I'm saving up to buy a video game. Okay. So you're saving to buy a video game. That's your goal. Do you know how much the video game costs? Like 50 or mm -hmm. 100? That makes sense. It depends on the game, I think, and the gaming system. So how much do you put in there each time you put money? Do you have a piggy bank also? I have a wallet. Okay. So how much do you put in your wallet each time, or, or is it different amounts? Different amounts. Okay. So you have money in your wallet, and you could go spend that any day on whatever gum or cards or candy or fidgets or whatever kids buy these days, but you're not doing that because you have a goal, and you're saving the money, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and that's being thrifty. So being thrifty is not wasting the money being careful with the money, having a goal, saving more than you need for that goal, because then you still have money after you spend that. Um, what would you say to kids about why it's a good idea to be thrifty? It's, like, it's, a, it's, a good, it's good to be thrifty so you could save money into buying stuff that is really important. Right, right. So not spending money on the unimportant stuff means you have it for the important stuff, right? Great. What would you say, Devin? I mean, sorry, Benji. Uh, like, wait. What would you say to kids about why is it a good idea to save money? Why should they be thrifty? Uh, because you would be poor if you had enough money, so you would save up for, like, whatever goal you, money you want. Perfect. Save up for the money goal because you don't want to be poor, right? Love it. Thank you so much, Devin and Benji. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Charlie and Jake, and we're here to talk about being thrifty. Why are people thrifty? Why do they bother to save their money instead of spend it all? We're going to start with Charlie and see what she thinks. So Charlie, what do you think about being thrifty and not spending all your money? Do you get allowance at home? Yeah, when I do chores and good stuff. And I bet you do chores and good stuff a lot, right? Yes. That's what I thought. So when you get money for doing chores and good stuff, do you spend it all at once? What do you do with that money? Um, if usually she gives us $10. Um, dollars, so I save the $10, then when my mom goes to the store, I take my money, and then when I see something, I buy it. Maybe it, if it's $5, because then I have five left. Perfect. So do you save the five, or you might use it later? Um, I save the five. Perfect. So that's being thrifty. So you could spend all the money all at once. In fact, you could say, Mom, I only have $10, or Dad, I only have $10, but I want that $12 thing. Can you give me $2 and I'll pay you back? That's not being thrifty. That's spending more than you have. But you're good. You spend less than you have and you save it for later. Are you saving up for anything, big? Well, um, I saw on commercials this thing, and I really want it, but it's like, $20. So how many weeks allowance is that, too? Yeah, but um, I used to have this wallet, and it used to have over $100, but I lost my wallet. Oh, I hate it when that happens. But you know what? I think you, because you're thrifty, you'll build that $100 up again, and then you'll be able to buy that $20 thing, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Thank you, Charlie. I'm gonna talk to Jake now. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi, Jake. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. So you were hearing me talk to Charlie a little bit about being thrifty. Yeah. And so do you get allowance or do you do chores and you yeah. can earn some money? I do. So what do you do? Uh, if there's like sticks in the yard, me and Shaw we just like pick up the sticks and we get like a few bucks. Perfect. And do you spend it all at once or you save it or what do you think? Uh, I save it and put it in my wallet unless I see something that I, that I really like. Okay, so you save it unless you see something you like. Is there anything you're saving up for in particular? Uh, no. I don't really don't really know what I'm saving up for. Okay. And do you when you go into a store like Target or something, do you ask your mom, "I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that." Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, we all do, and that's why they put it there because they want us to buy it and say, oh, "I have to have that thing." Um, but it sounds to me like you're careful about that, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you got. Ten dollars. What would you do with that ten dollars? If there was something less than ten dollars, like a little fidget or something, maybe I'll get it. Yeah, fidgets are cool now. People like that. It gives you something to do with your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So thrifty is not spending all the money you have, not spending more than you have. Would you say you're pretty good at that? Yeah. Um, so what advice do you have for kids who are watching about what they should do with their money? Should they spend it all? Should they spend half? Should they save half? What do you think they should do? They should spend not all of it, but maybe half and save all of it. Save uh, what you haven't uh, spent. Mm -hmm. Save what you haven't spent, right. And then would you make a list of things you wanted to do with that money or would you, just, you keep that for college? Um, maybe sometimes make a list but I would probably save it for something big. And that's being thrifty. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna check in with Charlie again. Charlie, is there something, would you be saving for college or are you just save for a little thing at a time and then one thing at a time? I would save up for college. And do you know where you wanna to go to college yet? No. Some people do, that's why I asked. Do you know where you wanna to go to college yet? Um. Because you want to be a hockey player, right? You want to be a pro hockey player? No, football? Football. Yeah, pro football. I knew that. So BC has a good football team, I think. That, that's not too far away. All right. So being thrifty means not spending all you have, saving up for things, because it takes time to save up. So that requires patience. So... Bridget, tell me, you are a very intelligent, kind, helpful person that I observe at Elmwood School. How, what do you think about being thrifty? I think it's good. So in case you ever need the money, you, you always have it right there in the, in the bank or somewhere else safe. That's very smart. So it's always there if you need it. If you spend it, it's not there. Mm -hmm. So anytime you need it. Sometimes there's big problems, so you can always have it right there. Right, so if you needed an emergency, what? Sometimes, if sometimes some parts of your house burns down in a fire, you can pay for those parts. Mm -hmm. Or maybe in a, your umbrella breaks and in a storm and then you need the money to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Or else maybe sometimes you want a new book and you can just buy it with those that money. That's really smart. So I know the book fair was this week. Mm -hmm. And did you have money saved up for book fair? Or do your parents let you have some money? Or do you have allowance? How does that work? My mom gave me some money. And then later I pay her back. Ooh, that's very smart. And that's really, uh, we're going to talk to your mom in a little bit. Because it's really important for parents to help kids learn how to be thrifty and how to bud budget and, and save their money and how to spend their money. Do you think that's a good idea? Yes. I, I do too. Very good idea. I do too. Okay, thank you. I'm going to talk to your brother Evan for a minute, okay? okay. All right, thank you. Hi, Evan. Hi. Yeah. So we're here to talk about being thrifty, which means if you have money and you want to buy some new Batman shoes, do you spend your money on the most expensive Batman shoes you can find or you buy the $5 ones? The $5 ones. 
Right, and why do you buy the ones that are on sale instead of the most expensive ones you could find? Because that the if the most expensive ones, you would waste all your money, and if you buy the cheaper ones, you won't waste more of your money, so you can have more money. Right, you have more money for the next thing you want to buy, and also, children's feet grow really fast, right? And your body is growing really fast, so if you spend a lot of money on, on the most expensive shoes, you're just going to grow out of them, right? Yeah. So is there anything that you're saving up for to buy? Is there any big thing you want to buy? I'm saving up to put my money bank account in a CD. Wow, so what is a CD? Can you explain it? Because I'm not sure a lot of kids know what a CD is. A CD is a place in the bank. If you say save up $250, you can get a CD. My sister already has a CD. Cool. So a CD, the, that stands for Certificate of Deposit. And when you get earn a certain amount of money, they set it aside in this little category called CD or Certificate of Deposit, and it earns interest. So you get a little bit of money from the bank to, for them to hold that money there. So that's really smart. I think you guys are both going to be really wealthy someday. I, will, I do, th and remember me, okay, when you get to be really wealthy. <laughs> okay, so I think you guys both have a really great handle on being thrifty, and a lot of kids don't know anything about CDs, except that it's something you put in your CD player and you listen to music. So you're both amazing, and I'm guessing that your parents have helped you learn some of this. So we're going to talk to your mom, okay, and see what wisdom you got from her. I'm here with Anne, who is the mother of Bridget and Evan, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about how she taught them to be so thrifty and what guidance she gave them in order for them to know about CDs and, and saving money at their young age. So Anne, this is really fabulous, and exactly what we want kids to know is that being thrifty is a good character trait. So how did, how did you do this? Well, um, being an immigrant here, we save every penny we can, and my mom was a very hard worker, so when I was young, she started teaching me the value of money. And being thrifty is one way to save, and every single penny earned, every single penny saved is a penny earned. Yes. So I, I started, as soon as I had kids, I started at 5 to 9 for them, which yes. is college fun. Yeah. And as uh, soon as they old enough to understand money values or coins or can play with them, I started showing them different coins and we look for special coins like pennies. And we, copper ones. And copper one nowadays, they don't make them. And um, we find one that's very special. What year is 1919. that? 1919. 1919. And, um, and open a bank account with them and local bank and we go visit them at least once a month and they have a treat at the same time trying to understand why people would put people put money in the bank and after a while they realize that every penny they put in they actually get something back called interest and then when we get to a point that she has some amount of money the lady was telling us that she can put it in a cd so i started explain to them it's not an audio CD that you play in the record but it's something that it could earn you more money which Evan did a very good job explaining which yes. is amazing yes. and I think it's very important to teach them the value of money and being 50 early on in their life um, because it's something that it's not a course that you can take in right. class right. but it's real life that everybody uh, nowadays I have to say money is um, it doesn't mean you can buy anything everything, but if you need something, you can use it wisely. Hey, Wady Freddy. What, Piggy Wiggy? You know what I heard? What'd you hear? I heard that Ben Franklin was the original postmaster, the first postmaster in the United States. What? Uh, a long time ago, right? Yeah, so he started the whole U.S. Postal Service. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really cool. And you know what else? He was really careful about money. So he made sure that he saved his money and he took care of the post office and all the letters and everything that he had to do 
and he made sure he didn't spend too much. Really? Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's called being thrifty. So being thrifty means that you don't spend all the money you have and you're careful about that money. Oh, that's a good idea. So he made the post office and he did a good job with the money so they had enough money to do everything they wanted to do? Yeah, that's right. Isn't that cool? Yeah! So my friends, we have talked about being thrifty and here is the key, get it? This is not the key I used to fly the kite to get the electricity, but the key to being thrifty is don't spend all your money, set a goal, save the money, spend a little if you need to, but being thrifty means you conserve resources like borrowing a key instead of buying a key. You reuse things, you don't throw them away just because you think they're a little bit worn out. You save, you conserve, you're thrifty, you don't spend it all, you set a goal. That is a good idea. And having good ideas, such as being thrifty, is part of having a good character. I highly recommend it. Thank you. We heard from all of our interviews that being thrifty is a good thing. In our world right now, advertisers want us to buy things so they can make money, but that is not necessarily good for us. If we already have three pairs of shoes, do we really need shoes in every color? We like to have those things, but we really don't need them, and other things might be more important for us to spend our money on or to save for. In our interview with Andrew, the YMCA worker, we learned that his father taught him to save his money so he would have it for something he really wanted to buy or needed. Spending money on candy bars means $2, $4, and as Andrew said, it adds up. And before you know it, you don't have money anymore for the important things, like saving for college or a game you know you will use a lot. Andrew is right. Thanks, Andrew. Benji and Devin from the YMCA program also thought that being thrifty and saving is a good thing. Benji has a giant Pikachu piggy bank that makes noise when he puts money in it and he thinks he has over $100 in there because he doesn't take the money out, he only puts the money in. He is saving up and I am sure he will reach his goal and then get what he really wants, not little things that break or disappear like candy. Devon, who spoke of saving money being a good thing, in case you need money in an emergency or want something that costs more than a few dollars. Patience and waiting for what you want are part of being thrifty. Then we had a chance to sit down with Charlie and Jake to talk about what they do with their money that they earn doing chores. They save it up for important things and think about what they will do to earn money, not just spend on things they see and want at the moment. They learned about being thrifty from their parents. Good job, Heather and Dan. Bridget, Evan, and their mom, Anne, talked with us about their thrifty habits, which were also very impressive. Bridget has a savings account at the bank, and they make regular deposits, again, not taking money out. Bridget thinks about what she needs and doesn't ask for little things. Rather, she is saving for big things. Evan talked about having enough money for a CD, a certificate of deposit, at the bank, which means you earn a higher amount of interest on your deposit after you reach an amount of $250. Interest is the little money the bank pays you for keeping your money in the bank. Bridget also has her money in a CD now. Their mom, Anne, spoke of how she came here from China when she was 11 and her mom worked three jobs to make enough money for them to live and then save to buy a house. Anne's mom taught Anne about hard work and being thrifty or careful with money. Our puppets spoke of our character, Benjamin Franklin, and how he was the first postmaster general of the U.S. Postal Service. This would have included making a budget, which means planning how to spend money to pay for the business. 
Ben Franklin must have done a great job, since his photograph is on our $100 bill, and the Postal Service has done well for over 250 years. Ben Franklin himself spoke of growing up in Boston in a family of 17 children and not much money. His father was a soap maker, and Ben was the 15th child and youngest son. He worked as a printer and writer of clever articles, which were funny and also had good advice. Poor Richard's Almanac is one of his publications of the late 1700s. He helped write the Constitution and negotiated an agreement in 1783, which ended the Revolutionary War. He also invented bifocal glasses, which are for people who need help seeing up close and far away, and he organized the first successful American lending library. One of the famous sayings in Poor Richard's Almanac was, a penny saved is a penny earned. Another is, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Being thrifty with one's time and not wasting it was something this very busy, very creative man believed in wholeheartedly. So as we heard and saw in this episode of Character Matters, being thrifty is a good character trait. Saving money means you have money to spend if your car breaks down or you need to repair something in the house. Being careful with resources, recycling, reusing, and using things around the house instead of going out and buying something new are also part of being thrifty. Planning time, not talking too much, exercising in moderation, these can all be viewed as being thrifty. Thinking about what you have and spending it wisely or saving it up until a specific need arises are all part of being a thrifty person. So we have learned that being thrifty is a good character trait to have and is a win-win. It can be a hard thing to start if you're used to spending without saving, but once you start, you will see what a good thing it is in your life. Why bother being thrifty? because it is part of having a good character and character matters. <laughs>